Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I wanted to answer a quick question that came in on an older video I did about cast netting bait from a kayak. You know, I shared some tips on how to effectively throw a cast net from a kayak, and the question was specifically about, uh, you know, is it better to anchor up and wait for bait to come by? or actively go and look for bait and just be ready to throw your net. And that question came from Mike Bono 17 actually on our Instagram page uh, where we posted that video as well uh, just recently. Now before I answer the question, definitely be sure to go to our main uh, SaltStrong website at saltstrong.com and view the full articles and blog posts that we put out uh, with fishing tips, product reviews. Anytime you uh, ask a question or post a comment, on those articles we get an instant notification to our email so we can go through and answer your questions directly. Also, be sure to check out our Salt Strong Insider Club where you basically have direct access to us. You can ask us questions in our community uh, community page that we have on there. You can email us directly uh, from there and also you have a huge community of anglers that are willing to share information and help you out as well. So definitely be sure to check that out. Now going back to the question that was asked from Mike Bono 17 about uh, whether you should anchor up and wait for bait to come by or drift around and actively look for bait. It really depends on what's going on when you get to the water. You know, if there's a bunch of bait in like a cove somewhere, uh, you can possibly just anchor up and wait for that bait to come by. It's a lot stealthier, you know, you're not moving around making noise. Typically that bait will just swim right by you. Just be ready to throw your net. Have your net in your hand, ready to go. Make sure none of the line is anywhere that could get tangled up. And just be ready to throw that net when the bait comes by. Now, if there's not much bait around, I'm going to have that net ready to go and I'm going to be actively looking for the bait. Uh, you know, once you come across a school of bait, they're usually going to swim off so you need to be ready to throw your net uh, so have that net laying in front of you if you're standing up have it laying in front of you or have it in a bucket in front of you in your kayak or paddleboard have your rope you know coiled up ready to just grab it or as i shown in the video actually have a holster on my side that holds the rope for the cast net so all i have to do is grab the net grab the rope put it in one hand get it ready to throw now, something else you also have to consider uh, anchored up versus just drifting around. When you're anchored up, you're going to be able to pull that net in more efficiently, more effectively, because if you're not anchored up, what's going to happen is you're, you're pretty much going to be pulling yourself to the net and it's not going to close up as fast. So you have to pull it in really fast and really uh, snappy, I like to say, you know, quick tugs on the rope to pull that net in to get it to close up so you don't lose your bait uh, when you're not anchored up. Again, when you're anchored up, that net will close up more effectively because you're on a solid platform, you know, you're not moving and you're not pulling yourself to your net. Now another tip, if you are drifting around looking for bait and you all of a sudden come across a school of bait, try to, you know, keep an eye on which direction they're heading and try to position yourself so that you can get a good cast on them. Ideally, I like to position myself either, uh, you know, up current or upwind from them, so the wind or the current will drift me down towards them. That way I can sort of get myself into position, have my net ready, and then by the time I get up to the bait, I'm ready to throw and they're right in front of me. As opposed to trying to go against the wind where you're you know, fighting the wind to get to that bait and then you're ready to throw and next thing you know, the wind or the current has blown you back away from the bait. So you really wanna take advantage of the wind and the current to bring you to the bait, almost acting like a trolling motor to get you to the bait. And when you do get up to the bait, you want to make sure you're positioned, you know, the right way. Uh, for example, when I'm facing forward, when I'm throwing the net, I swing back to the right side and I either throw it out in front of me or out to my left side. So you want to have the bait either right in front of you or out to the side that, you know, you're obviously throwing on. You can't really throw a net. If you rear it back to the right side, you can't throw it out to the right side. So if you have your bait on your right side, you're probably going to miss them or you're going to have a really bad throw. Now lastly, one last question that I saw here that I wanted to answer uh, really quick was about net size. Uh, you can really throw any size net from the kayak. It really comes down to practice. I've seen guys throw 10, 12 foot nets from a kayak sitting down. All depends on how you throw it and how comfortable you are throwing it. I personally, I like to stand up 
when I'm throwing the net just because I don't like things in my way or possibly getting caught on anything that may be on the kayak. So the biggest net that I throw is about a six to a seven foot net. I can easily throw that standing up without running any risk of possibly falling over uh, with it being too heavy and awkward. And also you can throw it sitting down uh, very easily. So the net that I was using in this video uh, was a six foot net. So that will wrap up answering those questions. If you have any additional questions uh, that you can think of that you would like to ask, definitely let us know uh, down below and we'll get back to you on that. Also, if you have any additional tips you would like to share when it comes to throwing a cast net from your kayak or paddleboard, we definitely like to know. So let us know in the comments down below. Till next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.